Yo, what's up guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul Detect John, welcome back to the channel. We're today gonna to be doing just a brief unboxing of the new Resident Evil Village game for the PlayStation 5. Got a bit of a special one here because we've got a nice 3D cover on this one, but we'll take a look at that in just a minute. Now, as well as the unboxing, I'm also going to be giving you guys some information about just a giveaway that I'm going to be doing with some codes that I got with the game, which I don't need, and I thought I might as well do the right thing and give them away to you guys. Now, if you guys are really into your Resident Evil games, then you're going to love a video that I recently made showing a chalk figure that was drawn onto a hillside in my local area, which was done by Capcom to promote the new Resident Evil Village game. Something really special, not a lot of people actually know about it. And uh, if you want to go and see that, then please go and check out my link in the description. Right, let's crack on with this unboxing then, and let's first remove the cellophane, which is always really satisfying. Something so nice about that noise, isn't there? And there we go. Right, let's take a closer look at this outside sleeve then. And uh, I've moved a bit closer to the window to get it in a bit of a better light. Now this is 3D and uh, obviously you're not gonna get the full effect of this through the camera. But if I just move it backwards and forwards a bit, maybe we'll see it just moving around slightly there. It does look very nice indeed, something a little bit different. Uh, not everyone got the opportunity to purchase this version. And if anyone is wondering where I did get this copy from, well, I got it from Shop2 here in the UK. Now, if I just push the box out of the sleeve, you'll see that there is, in fact, actually nothing around the back of it. It's just simply all on the front. Now, as well as this normal copy of Resident Evil Village, I accidentally ordered the Steelbook version. Now, uh, what it was, I simply ordered this so far in advance, totally forgot about it, so ordered another copy, hence two turned up. Now, I'm not going to do an actual unboxing of this, because uh, this is this one's surplus to a requirement, so I'm going to sell it on. But if I just show you quickly around the box on this one, nothing that special. I've looked at other unboxings of it, and to be honest, looks like a bit of a letdown. The uh, the steel tin just looks like that. And uh, yeah, I reckon you might be better off just saving your money, if I'm being totally honest. Maybe go for this version with the uh, 3D sleeve on it instead. Right, let's move on then and take a closer look at this version. Now, as we can see, the front cover is a copy of that sleeve that we've just removed. So we've got PS5 at the top, Resident Evil Village written underneath, and at the bottom, we have a Peggy 18 rating. Now, uh, nothing special that front cover there. Looks better, obviously, with that 3D sleeve on it. Shame they couldn't have done that for all regions. Moving around the side, Resident Evil Village. Moving around to the back then, and we've got a few screenshots from the game just there. And then moving further down, we've got some vital information. So. As we can see, it is a single player game. 30 gigabyte minimum storage required on this one. Vibration function and trigger effects supported. And finally, in-game purchases. Let's next pop open the case then and uh, see what's inside. Now, I've already gone ahead and uh, done this. As you can see, there is a code that is available inside. As you can see, I've discreetly uh, covered this up with a bit of brown tape, as you do. And uh, this is for Reverse or Resident Evil Verse. So play as comic heroes and villains in Reverse, a um, free multiplayer game celebrating 25 years of Resident Evil. And uh, just goes on to tell you where to uh, log into and uh, basically to redeem that code and how you go about doing it. So yeah, that's something different and uh, nothing much around the back of that. And then we've just got the disc itself. So just popping that out then. And there we go, closer look at that. Again, nothing special. And uh, once again saying there about the uh, Peggy 18 rating. Now with that game disc inserted in the PS5, as we can see, data needed to start playing. That comes in at 
10.9 gig and all data that comes in at 27.4 gig. Now, as I said at the start of the video, I've got a couple of codes for this game that I want to give away. Now, these codes are for the Survival Resources Pack DLC and Mr. Raccoon Weapon Accessory DLC. Now, I got these as part of pre-ordering the game. So if you go out and buy the game now, you probably won't get these codes, so they may come in useful. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put one code in this video and one in the next video. And uh, I'm simply going to put it in a pinned comment. I'm not going to say when I'm going to put up that pinned comment, so you're going to have to keep checking back. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to put it up as a code in the pinned comment, and it's going to be simply first come, first served. So when you see it, just grab it and use it. Can't say fairer than that. Now, finally, I've got some great news because if you have been waiting for me to get hold of a 2021 model TV, then you are in luck because I have just taken delivery of what's potentially going to be one of the best, if not the best, TV of 2021. So if you want to see exactly what that is, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell icon because otherwise you will not be notified of my latest uploads, which will include that new TV and loads of testing with it. Well, there you go then, folks. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video today. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. Really makes a big difference to the channel. And hopefully I'll be catching you guys on the next one. Bye for now.